Hi guys, this is a spring mass system. In terms of structural dynamics, the most complex systems can be broken down into simple spring mass systems. Whether a bus or a plane or a car or a train, they're all spring masses in my brain. The force of the spring can be expressed in terms of Hooke's law, which is the force of the spring is equal to negative spring constant K times the displacement x. Now if I apply a pull or tension force on the mass and, and create a tension on the spring and release, it causes the spring and mass to oscillate. If you notice, the oscillation is at a continuous rate. This is the natural or resonant frequency of this spring mass system. Okay, pay attention to the rate of oscillation here. Let's try something else out now. Let's try to add some additional mass now. So let me grab my other handy stack of weights here. And let's add this to our spring mass system. Okay, as you can see, the mass I just added is significantly larger than the original mass that I had placed on this spring. So let's see what happens when we pull the spring back now. Look at that. Do you see the rate? of oscillation is much slower now. It is a lower frequency. We have changed the natural or resonant frequency of this system. Something else I want to show you too is when you pull back the spring for even further, you'll notice the displacement increases. The reason for this is that the force that's exerted on the spring mass system directly impacts the amplitude of the displacement. So going back here, why did the rate of oscillation decrease? Well, this is because that both the spring constant and the mass directly affect the rate of oscillation or the natural or resonant frequency of the system. This is expressed mathematically as T equals 2 times the square root of the mass over the spring constant. Now if you'll notice, the rate of oscillation stays the same, but the size of the amplitude of the displacement gets smaller and smaller and will eventually come to rest. The reason for this? Dampen. Dampen occurs when friction of materials causes energy, mechanical energy, to be released as heat. Therefore, this spring mass system has a dampen coefficient. Spring mass systems are critical in the world of vibration testing and in vibration analysis and structural dynamics, as it helps express 